people go welcome friends it's been a year a whole year since we've uploaded an episode of the dead kings podcast this 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 new software is actually really cool because it gives us a countdown instead of were you able to see the countdown on yours yeah it was really cool actually i was like oh here we go so that's cool also also um look who's back ladies and gentlemen he's right he's right there in the flesh baby in the flesh we're back brady brady is back the dead kings podcast is back and i am going to be starting or i we are going to be starting a new series basically who would you cast it's a fan cast series i'm sure tons of people have already done it basically when a movie drops like with this one here we have and we will transport to gotham city real quick here we go we are looking at this batman villains bane and deathstroke getting a movie treatment in dc studios exclusive dc will be doing some back breaking development work to bring criminals to the big scene big screen sorry so here yep true 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 so here we have there is no director on the project which what i've heard it's james gunn as in it's his his cinematic universe the dce his dceu these these two are going to be going up against ba uh, batman so for sorry i got i'm getting used to this there we go we are in gotham city now where else would we be Anyway, for this casting, we are going to be doing who would we cast for Bane, Deathstroke, Alfred, Jim Gordon, and Bruce Wayne slash Batman, giving their styles how they would be, not necessarily how they would look, but how they're like their personality wise, right? Um, and then there are some rules and contingencies in place. Damn rules. <laughs> Always a rule. There's always I, some sort of rule. I burped on podcast. Disgusting. <laughs> it's not my fault. Anyway, the rules are that the person cannot have played the character in live action yet. They can have voice acted the character, but they cannot have already physically played. So Tom Hardy can't be Bane. Manu Bennett can't be Deathstroke. Michael Caine can't be Alfred. Uh, Gary Oldman can't be Jim Gordon, you know, Christian Bale can't be Bruce Wayne or Batman, so on and so forth. The next one is that they cannot have like uh, we have it for the Batmobile style, it can't be the Tumblr, it can't be Michael Keaton's Batmobile. That has to be something that yeah, you, you have thought it, you haven't thought about, or whatever. So Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to start with first is I'll go first and then we'll switch on and off Brady back and forth. Who would I cast for Bane? We're going to start with Bane? Okay. Yes, for Bane. For me, I had two in mind. I have a feeling ours are going to be the same. What do you mean? I'm, I'm a little worried that ours are going to be the same. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look at your list right now. No, don't, don't you dare! <laughs> don't you dare! Don't anyway, you dare. anyway. So realistically, I have two for Bane for a reason. My Bane is Batista. Did you pick Batista too? Yes, I did. Damn he it! <laughs> It, it, like so the reason i have two is batista has actually recently came out and said that he feels he's too old to play bane now bull bunch of bull he he has come out recently and said he feels like he's too old to play bane now had this been during his guardians time or before his guardians time he would have loved to play bane now, my second casting for Bane, because, you know, Tisa said he's too old, is the Mountain from Game of Thrones. Okay. 
Okay, I could see that. I could see that. But the voice actor for Bane that I would have picked, because I know this is this is going over a little bit over. The mountain is not Hispanic, and I feel that that could have some backlash. A Hispanic character not have being represented as as a Hispanic actor, right? Mm -hmm. I think the guy who plays the mountain is Finnish or Norwegian, if I remember correctly. It's very much the opposite of Hispanic. Exactly. I would have Javier Bordem voice, voice him. The guy who played Salazar in um, Pirates of the Caribbean. As a Bane. Interesting. He would play Bane. He also played, he was in No Country for Old Men. He was in a lot of other movies. Right, right. But that is my Bane. Voice actor wise, or like just as a voice actor, or like as the figure. Yeah, himself? so Javier Bordem would voice him, the mountain would play him. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I could actually absolutely get behind that 100%. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because we're talking about Masked Bane at this point. Yes, Masked Bane. None of this Tom Hardy. I liked Tom Hardy's Bane as a, as for what it called for in the movie, right? Okay. Within Nolan's realm of stuff, but we're talking about Luchador Masked Bane. All okay. Right. Okay. Titan hoses coming out of him and all that stuff. Okay. 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 So do you have... I, I also picked Batista. I disagree with him being old too old maybe but i that's just me personally i still think he could do it mm. as far as a backup i did not plan for that but <laughs> i did not plan for that i, I didn't I, I wasn't even thinking about a backup man i don't even know if i could think of a backup right off the top of my head without like truly truly taking some time to think about it if because... you can't that's fine if you can't that's fine we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll sally forth okay sally forth because yeah for me it would be batista like just pure size, Hispanic. Like he just, I think, would fit the role really well. Okay. All right. Now you're taking the reins. Who is your Deathstroke? All right. This one is the one I was worried about. Okay. Bear with me, if you will. Okay. Wesley Snipes, but from Expendables, Wesley Snipes. Wesley with white hair? I wouldn't be against it because he's in demo man with blonde hair. Just change it to white hair. Like a gray or even like not even white, but like a gray, older, cleaner beard, Wesley Snipes, with maybe even like just to throw in a little bit of flair, some colored, like maybe like eyes, like contacts or something, like orange or reddish kind what of a, just to give it a little bit. Kind of esque, <laughs> but like I like we've seen we've seen Wesley Snipes playing a lot of action movies where he was a sword wielder, knife wielder, gun wielder, um, you you name it. Like Wesley Snipes has kind of been a little bit of everything from Demo Man to the Expendables to Blade, you know, so on and so forth. Those are just a few like name ones. I think that he could definitely pull off a, a death stroke. It's as Wesley Snipes is Slade Wilson. I never thought about that. That name fits to me. I know it's a hot, it, it may be a hot take, dude. Like, I know a lot of people these days are pissed off that they change the races of characters, but still, Wesley, it's not even because he's black, it's because Wesley Snipes would make a good, a good death stroke. A hundred percent. His mannerisms as his characters, both in like we'll just say Blade and Expendables, because you and I wasn't it Expendables 2 that he was in yeah yes yes his the way he carried himself particularly in the expendables 2 is what i think of would make a good death stroke where he's gotcha. just like you, you hear those dog tags ching -a -lang, ching -a -lang. Ching -a -lang. Like, i, I could just picture something like that and i know that's a crazy take to, to like wesley snipes like where did that come from but mm -hmm. i was just thinking about it, i was like man i feel like that would be really cool actually like that i pictured cool. him in the armor and everything that would be cool. That would be. I'd say that'd be interesting. Yeah, de that's I, definitely. I've never heard that fan cast before. First time for everything. Huh. Let it be known. I said it first. <laughs> Let it be known. I said it first. Okay. <laughs> so my death stroke, and so what would his style? So you said basically him from Expendable style. Oh yeah, for sure. I want like I. It, it kind of like 
I don't want him to be so straightforward and not speaking like he was in like Blade. Like Blade, he didn't really have a lot to say. He was very, uh, uh, uh. I don't want that. I want more commentary, but I want some seriousness to it and like some aggressiveness. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. My death stroke is the one and only Stephen Lang. I can't even be mad. He would <laughs> also make a good death stroke. I think Stephen Lang would knock it out of the park because obviously everyone wanted him to be cable. I think he was destined to play Deathstroke. Now, yes, he's he's getting up there in age, but still, I still think I'm pretty sure Deathstroke is old though, isn't he? Like he's an older dude. He's an older dude, yeah. Um, i.e. the the hair. Mm -hmm. But I think he'd do a great job. Yes, he'd be very Quaritch, uh, Quaritch like oh, from, Avatar, from Avatar. But I think Stephen Lang would kill it. And if you don't know who Stephen Lang is, he plays Colonel Quaritch in the Avatar movies. Um, all right. So oh, he's also in um, Public Enemies as the guy that hunts down John Dillinger. Public Enemies, yes, he's in that. He's in uh, Don't Breathe, he's the blind guy. And he's in a, he's in a bunch of other things, but those are really the ones that I know him from. Yeah. So for my Alfred, I couldn't really, I couldn't really pinpoint an Alfred actor, right? And I had one in my head. <laughs> Have some decorum, man. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize so, for his behavior. So I I have to go back in my own notes that I made. So if you want to pull up yours. You ready for mine? I've got one. Yeah. All right. My Alfred is Scott Glenn from Sucker Punch. Scott Glenn. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. He's like the wise old man. Hold on, Scott Glenn. Scott, why why can I not find why can I not find my cursor? Well, my computer is it freezing? Yeah, my computer's running really slow. I apologize, people. Scott Glenn. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna pull pull that out real quick. Scott Glenn. Him. Yes. I think is an older as an older Alfred, I think he's perfect. Okay. Well, what is he doing with that buck knife, first of all? Sir, how dare you? What is that? Scott. Wait. Is what? that the the crocodile dundee? Wait, hold on. Hold, wait, wait. We see your search history. Is it him? Oh, Paul Hogan. Oh, okay. I was like, are they the same? I didn't think they were, but yeah, I'm glad we confirmed they're not. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Scott Glenn is my pick for my alfred okay okay so my alfred i was talking about this um with forrest aka lazy pool right or umbers or whatever you want to fucking call him now and my pick was i can't really remember but it was a younger alfred kind of like him and out like Bruce and Alfred kind of came up together. Alfred's parents were butlers to Bruce's parents. And then his parents, something had happened or whatever. But Alfred and Bruce were kind of like, he wasn't a butler, but he was still like a friend-esque homie, you know? Right. Um, And my Alfred, <laughs> it's so weird, is Alan Cumming. I'll pull him up. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to. 
couldn't recognize the name at all. Oh, excuse me. He played, he was Nightcrawler in the X-Men movies. Um, this is my Alfred. Wait a minute, click on a picture of him? Just like one of the pictures? I clicked on it. Oh, I'm, I'm on my wrong screen. On the wrong screen. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Interesting. It, I mean, I can see it. Interesting pick, sure. I, I always just thought like maybe he'd be like a year or so older than than Bruce. Like again, I it's it's a different dynamic that we've never really seen. It's always that Alfred's the wise old guy, old mentor, 100%. old head, stuff like that. I liked Andy Circus's Alfred, and I think Andy Circus's Alfred is like you can't top Michael Kane in the Dark Knight trilogy. I don't think so either, but but I think Andy Circus is right there, and I think it'd be cool to see an Alfred. That wasn't necessarily Alfred. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, no, kind of like that. kind of like Bruce's Samwise to his Frodo in a way. Okay. Uh yeah, that no, I like that dynamic. I do. I could totally see that being a thing. Yeah, so it's not like he's his butler and this and that, but like I don't know. It's it's hard. He'd be his butler, but at the same time, not. Um it's 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 hard to 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 so instead to, of getting having the father figure mentality, it would switch to a, like a best friend mentality. Yes, it'd be a best friend mentality. Okay, okay, I like that. I'm actually not against that at all. All right. So since you technically went first with with Alfred, should I go first on Gordon? Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. My Gordon is Brian Cranston. You're gonna have to show me a picture of that one. You too, don't know who me. Brian freaking or Breaking who, what, Bad Heisenberg. Heisenberg? Oh, yeah. Like, hold on. You're gonna tell me right now. You're gonna I, tell me. I know the face. I don't know the name. Not gonna lie. Guilty as charged. I did not watch Breaking Bad. I've tried, and I just couldn't. Well, I know him. <laughs> I know him from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, yeah, he is in that. That's right. I forgot about that. So I'll pull up. Hold on. Let me. I'll share my screen again. Um, this is. As Jim Gordon, huh? Yeah, that's that's my okay. Jim Gordon. That's that's my. Okay. And then, especially because of this picture right here. Oh, for sure. That that's like an that's like an AI sense. picture, but that's that's who I see is is Jim. He's got the thick old mustache, the brown hair. Um. Yeah, that, I mean, he's not far Pitt? off. What the hell? Oh God. That, but, that I could definitely see that. Like he's definitely comic book accurate to a Jim Gordon for sure. Who's your Who's your Jim Gordon? I feel like you're gonna get mad at me for this one. Uh, it better not be Denzel Washington. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Yep, I'm going with an all black cast. You go with an all white cast. Let's go. No, uh, Jared Padalecki. Who the fuck is that? Sam Sam from Supernatural. With shorter hair, and as a younger, as a younger, uh, well, I guess he's actually older now. So I mean, he could work as Jim Gordon. He may not have like the thick facial hair. Okay, but just like a more modernized, not okay. so much like your classic Jim Gordon, but like, and like in a lot of films I've seen him in, he's always the righteous guy. He's always the guy that follows the book by the book by the code. And so, like, and and people have even what, we've seen the fan art of him as Nightwing, yes. And I just feel like he could he could be a different take, different style, younger looking Jim Gordon instead of this the cliche mustache with the the same hair and everything. This is just a different perspective and take. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I I don't hate that because like when I how I said the younger um, Alfred. Yeah, that actually yours actually fits a lot better than a younger Alfred, a younger Gordon. that's like the same age around the same age as Batman. Right. And like they're they're coming up together. He starts out, you know, like you could even have it where this Batman, like if we're going off of like a younger style cast where this is when Batman's first upcoming is coming up. And I yes. would like tell I just thought of this idea off the top of my head. Tell me this kind of wouldn't be a cool concept. We are so used to seeing billionaire. Th the lamp for a fist, whatever the word is, 
Batman who can just buy top tier equipment. What mm. if we got a Batman that started out like Spider-Man where he's like making his own suits kind of a thing at a lower quality. And as he gets older, his suits are improving over time mm -hmm. to be that high end, high quality we're used to seeing. And that's where like we could have Jim Gordon instead of as an old man, he's like a brand new police officer that starts working with Batman so that to solve cases because he's young, oh, gotcha. he's green on the on the police force, and so he has this ambition that he's going to change the Gotham PD to be what it should be. That's, I'm not saying this is exactly what it is, but that reminds me a lot of the Telltale Batman when we first start. Gordon isn't commissioner, and it's just like in in the Nolan verse, he's not commissioner yet. But mm -hmm. so you're saying he's starting out as like a traffic cop? Yes. Gotcha. 100%. Okay. That's that's a new take. That's an I think that I think that would be cool. And we see Batman instead of having like this really sleek, great armor that it's already perfect to where it needs to be, he's got like it's like made up of like I don't know, like a dive suit and hockey hockey pants, hockey pants, something like that, you know. Like, and I'm not saying exactly that, but where he's making this stuff himself as opposed to like the Bruce Wayne level of with Christian Bale, where he's got like a company that is specializes in defense. Yeah contracts and stuff yeah okay a younger a younger okay i got i got that i got that i feel you i feel you i like that i like that now we're gonna kind of mesh these two into one batman bruce wayne since i went first with gordon hit me with your all your right batman. you already know where i'm going with this one Jared Eccles. J Jared Eccles? Or not, uh, Jensen Eccles. Sorry, not Jared <laughs> Eccles. Jensen Eccles. Sorrow. Yeah, Jensen Eccles. Like, we've seen the fan art. We've seen the the, the AI art, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. We know he's voiced Red Hood. We know he can do it. He showed interest as an actor in doing it. We've talked about this numerous, numerous times. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has to happen. It has to happen. I think it's only a matter of time, honestly. Yep. I, I'm right there with you. I feel like it's it's the easy easy choice, and it's like he's earned it, man. Everyone wanted him to be Red Hood. They took forever getting him to be Red Hood, and I feel like Hollywood is doing this weird thing. Like I'm looking at you, DC, where you have the uh, the amazing opportunity to make like Idris Elba to make him John Stewart Green Lantern. They're like uh, Idris Elba is going to be in the DCEU, and he's going to play Bloodsport, like. In a movie everybody already forgot about. And the only person people care about from that movie is Peacemaker. So. Eh, Margot Robbie. Come on now. Cam and. She was Blue a good Harley Quinn. I'm know, sorry. Like I'm saying from that movie in general. Like Rick Flagg oh. was a great character. And they killed him off in that movie. And Peacemaker killed him. So like. Again. My point is that DC make the right choice here we all like want jensen we all all want jensen ackles don't i swear if they pull out timothy chalamet and they're like oh we're starting with a young bruce wayne and a young this and that don't please please make the right choice and cast jensen this is what the fan give the fans what they want they did the rock fan cast that didn't work out well because the rock knew he was a fan cast People have been fan and Rosario Dawson's fan guest in it, but Jensen Eccles already voiced Batman. He knows yep. what it takes to be Batman. He voiced mm -hmm. Red Fucking Hood. He knows yep. what he's doing. Sorry, I don't mean to speak on your behalf, but good God. <laughs> no, you and I have talked about it so many times, though. Yes, we have these conversations on the regular that aren't even in podcast form, mm -hmm. but we we have had these conversations so many times. And for me, how he would be would be how he is in supernatural where he has his lightheartedness but he is the one that's like no bottom line up front we're getting this shit done whether we have to go in there kick down the door and kill every single one of them that's and that's how i'd want batman to be not a killing batman but he's like there's no mercy for these criminals yeah but then when he's bruce wayne he's lighthearted. he's you know he knows how to have fun chill whatever yeah. you know where there's a very distinct difference between the two yeah okay i got you i got you um suit style fighting style batmobile 
So suit style, you know me. I like the realistic style suit styles. But like I said, if we got this to where like a younger Batman, he's just fresh building his suit. Now, if we want to talk about like once he's made his suit, I prefer the Christian Bale style. Hate me if you will. Or or even, or if not the Christian Bale style, a similar style to Robert Pattinson's. Maybe a combination of the two. Mm -hmm. But I like a realistic looking, I do, I'm sorry, I love comic book accuracy to a degree, but a skin tight suit doesn't do it for me. I like mm -hmm. to see some plating. I like to see some armor. I like to see some gauntlet work, not just what looks like cloth gloves and a skin suit with a bat belt on. Mm -hmm. I need yeah. to see something that's actually going to protect him from bullets, protect him from stabs protect him from punches, blunt objects, whatever. Yeah. So for, for suit wise, that's what I could see him being. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and then Batmobile. All right. This, this one, I think you're going to like armored C8 Corvette. Hey, Hey, no, absolutely. You put those headphones back on right now. They you're not stole my Batmobile. What? You stole my Batmobile! <laughs> There's no way. God, There's I was, no way. I was gonna do a matte black armored C8, bro. <laughs> Damn it, dude! This C8, especially the one we saw today in orange, that was <sighs> like if we if we got that in matte black with armor plating, that would look insane. Son of a bitch. God damn it, you took it! <laughs> First you steal the person I'm gonna cast as Batman. I steal the freaking Batmobile. Come on! And it's, your bane. I stole your bane. It's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Well, oh, I actually had a backup for, for Bruce Wayne and Batman because we had already talked about this way before. Mm -hmm. on the, having the idea of doing the style podcast and my batman and bruce wayne is who i was pushing for after bale stopped and they announced that they were going to do a new batman scott adkins oh for those of you who don't know i will share my screen yet again yet again This is my Batman. What is he from again? What is he from? He's from he's your he plays Yuri Boyka. Okay. And he also played in I think it's Expendables 1, the guy who killed Liam's Liam Hemsworth. Oh. Okay. Okay. You know, there's there's actually a character I just thought of. We didn't we didn't put on our list that we were gonna talk about on this, but I just thought of the perfect person but this is who he plays in um expendables oh the okay. guy who does the roundhouse kick to the chest of, with the knife okay okay so that I is my i can see it that is my batman slash bruce wayne um i think i know he's a little bit on the smaller side a little bit on the shorter side but obviously if you're going up against bane batman's already going to be small True, true. Deathstroke, I don't know how tall he is compared to Stephen Lang's Deathstroke, but also Slade Wilson's a big guy, too. I think Lang is pretty tall. I think he's, like, in his six feet, whatever. Let me let me look. But I... I he even did a, um, inter, or a, a an audition for Batman when they were casting for the DCEU Batman. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yeah. And Stephen Lang is 72 years old. I didn't know that. Stephen Lang. Old Deathstroke. <laughs> old man Deathstroke. Stephen Lang is six or five foot ten. Scott Adkins. I thought Lang was taller than that, huh? Scott Adkins is 5'10 as well. I so here's my thing. I get the height part, right? Like Bane's massive, right? But Bane's like what? Six five in the comics when he's juiced up on on Titan. Yeah, he's huge. You're not gonna find anybody that big, that big. Yeah, unless we're going to get Terrence Ruffin or Chris Bumstead to 
freaking act as Bane. Yeah. You're not going to find somebody that big, that big. And I don't even think Terrence Ruffin's that tall. Terrence Ruffin is a, a pro bodybuilder. But, like, I, I don't think we should, like, people should get caught up on the whole height thing. I mm. think that, you know, we've seen what film can do for, like, the shorter people like Tom Cruise, where mm. it makes them look like they're six foot and they're not. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think the, the whole height thing is that big of a deal for me. Well, this kind of goes, excuse me. This kind of goes to my style. Like he, I feel like he would be more what I would like to see. Cause his, how he is as, as uh Bruce Wayne is completely different as the Batman. I feel like a lot of times nowadays, the Batman and Bruce Wayne, there isn't a fine line anymore. Mm. even with ben affleck's batman he was it was still eh. christian bale's batman there was that hard line but at the same time for me at least bale is my favorite batman of all time i feel like christian bale's batman wasn't as menacing as he could have been the first movie yes second movie yes third movie i feel like he fell off but that does come with him not being Batman for several years after he had his fall, right? Right. I feel like we haven't had a Batman that is the knight. That is the the bat. We I feel like that the people bat- actually are afraid of him. Exactly. When people like Robert Pattinson's Batman, they did a great job of being like bad guys are staring into the shadows and into the dark just to see if he's coming. Right? Yes. Yes. S- Scott Adkins, Batman. The one thing I need from Batman now is white eyes. I, I think I agree with that. Yeah, I do 100%. not. Care, I do not care what people think anymore. Realism, this and that. It's a thing that we haven't had. We had it with Christian Bale's Batman a little bit, um, but I want the white eyes. I want the Batman when Jim and Harvey Dent are talking or whatever. Batman's on a gargoyle, looking like he's seven feet tall but it's just the cape draped over the gargoyle with the white eyes. You can't see anything else except for the ears and the eyes. I want the bat. I want the menace. I want that threatening presence. I want the intimidation factor. Like I want, not like I'm saying I want a hundred yard long freaking cape that's flowing in the wind, but like, no, but you want that. You want that character that is like, this is the Batman. He will crush your skull in. He won't kill you, but he's going to crush your skull in to stop you from being a bad guy. Well, exactly. And I want, cause Scott Adkins also is like, he's a martial artist too. So he knows, he knows his fighting style. The biggest thing for me. And like I said, we haven't really got it other than Christian Bale's Batman is I want the Cape draped over his body. I want, I want him to be concealed, to be a mystery. I want, I would love underneath all that to kind of be like the telltale style armor. Right. Yeah, okay. I I love the Telltale Star armor, but I want that. It's also a good one. Yeah, but him to be covered, I want the whole thing where it's bad guys doing stuff. Not like Christian Bale's where he would swoop in and take him out, but it was straight up like a boom. You just see a thing of black, and then the person zips up in the air, and they're gone. But then, Right, he did do that, and I loved that. Yeah, I loved that because he doesn't need to sit there and fight a big group of bad guys. It, you, he can pick him off one by one and all this other stuff. But when he is fighting toe to toe, like how he would be fighting with Deathstroke and Bane, is we get to see Scott Adkins doing his Batman thing, doing his martial arts and everything like that. Like he was in, um, is the movie called Indisputed? I can't remember. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, uh, yeah, it's Undisputed. It's under the, the movie's Undisputed. He played Yuri Boyka. Um, it's great movie, loved it, but Scott Adkins did all his own stunt work and all his own fighting, and I'm like, you. it's very rare that you have someone who can pull off a Bruce Wayne Batman and then be the stuntman for it. Yep, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, 100%. And do, and do all the fighting, like, it's hard. In movies, too, it's why I, I, another reason why I think that they should cast a wrestler or a strongman or someone who can do their own stunts is, like, when you're watching it, you're not watching, okay, well, now it's Christian Bale's stunt double. It's Michael Keaton's stunt double. So it's, that's Scott Adkins in the suit. That's Bruce Wayne actually fighting. Like, recently, how many times, too, when he's Bruce Wayne, have we seen Bruce Wayne fight outside of Christian Bale's training? 
when it's just Bruce often. Wayne fighting. Yeah. So, like, I think Scott Adkins would be amazing if they don't cast Jensen Ackles. I, I like that second. I like that second, honestly. I think that's really yeah. good. So, again, his suit, fighting style, his Batmobile, it was... I. <sighs> Hey, 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 I said, I'm not. you know what? For that, I'm going to say his Batmobile should be an R32 can. I'll kill you. <laughs> anyway, kill you. <laughs> no, his would have been a C8 for me, too. That he would have had a, a matte black C8. I think that would have been cool. What I do like, though, is I don't know if it's plausible or possible. But I like the idea, too, of the Telltale Batman's Batmobile, where it transforms from his luxury car into a Batmobile. I, I did, like that. I just think it would be hard to do. I know. In, like, real-world stuff, I, I get it. It's it's a new concept, but I do like how, basically, though, the idea of an everyday car like a C8, it would be a car that would be a Batmobile. Okay, I like that. I'm not against that by any means. Yeah. You know what Eddie. I could have picked as a second choice for the Batmobile? What? McLaren P1. <laughs> Lamborghini Huracan. Anyway. Anyway, uh that is realistically it. Um I think that's all I've got right now. I uh, I definitely want to do more of these. So if you have ideas of things we should fan cast, whether it's a fan film with a certain plot or whatnot, or who we would cast in a movie with like Mr. Freeze or Clayface or fucking the League of Assassins or whoever it may be, let me know down below. Let me know on Instagram. Let me know anywhere. And we'll talk to them. If we did one for um, the Telltale games, Wh who would we pick if they did a film based off the Telltale games? Who would we pick for our respective actors? I think we found it. One of our next ones. Let me know what you all think down below, and I'll, we'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>